Hey everybody, we're at Diamonds Too Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Darman video. Daycare is mistreating their kids. What happens is shocking. I hate hearing about things where uh, kids are being abused. My mom used to uh, have daycare and, you know, we treated the kids great. You know, the kids like, loved us, you know, so to hear that people actually be in these daycares abusing them, it's like, are you, are you kidding me? Like, the parents are going to get their kid back and nine times out of ten the kid may speak or the kid may not because the kid may be too scared but let's get into the video what do you mean you can't accept my kids you have an unpaid balance of 260 dollars that you need to clear 260 dollars but we've only come twice well it is 65 dollars a day per kid how could anyone afford that this is robbery. Um, here. <laughs> she said um, this is robbery. I'm on my debit card. Mom, what's taking so long? I want to go play. This is sex, sweetheart. Sorry, it declined. Do you have another card you want to try? Uh, it's my only one. Can you charge half, please? I have a really important interview. I have to be up by 10 a.m. Unfortunately, the full balance is due. Well, can you make an exception today? It is Mother's Day. All right, um, I'd like to speak to your manager. I don't understand. Are we not allowed to go in? Don't worry, Martin. Mommy's gonna figure this out for us, okay? But, but why can't we go pay. in? Come on, Martin, let's just go play while we wait. <sighs> Thanks, Isabella. Ah. Oh. I thought that yoga class was so amazing. Oh, I know. I think I might add Thursdays, too. Oh, if you do, let me know, I'll go. Okay. I cannot wait to go to the spa oh, after this. He must not like ladies like that that, that be talking about yoga. and You know, because it kind of gives off a uppity, uppity vibe. Like they, like they think they too good. My manager will be right with you. Ladies, yes. what can I do for you? Hi. Um, yeah, just stop by. You, you could have said, excuse me. Balance is for Jenna Smith. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's um, gonna be 580. Oh, no problem. I'll just put it on my debit. Debit card? No, no, no. Put it on the company card. That way you can write it off. Wait, I can write off my childcare? <laughs> I mean, could you work without it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> there you go. Must be nice. I'm Carol. I am the manager here. So what seems to be the problem? Well, I have a really important interview that I have to get to today. Mm. And unfortunately, I can't afford to clear my balance right now. But I'm wondering if there's any way you could possibly make an exception and let my kids in today? No, I'm sorry. It's our policy. I'm sure that Denise has already explained that to you, right? Yeah. But since you cannot afford our place, why don't you go down to Broadway, where it is much less expensive? Yeah, that's right near Skid Row. It's really sketchy. Yes, but it's only $20 a day per child. Yeah, she she probably don't like the area over there. and She probably feel like it, it's more dangerous over there. She'd rather have her kids in a nice area. But <laughs> you get what you pay for. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Good luck. That was rude and disrespectful. She said, you get what you pay for. Oh, my God, that's rude. Ooh, what if we go shopping after the spa? Yes, oh, did you hear that Gucci just opened a new restaurant on the rooftop? Oh, they no. get the shopping. Yes, we should go there afterwards. We have oh, wow. to. Yes. <laughs> Come on, kids. We're leaving. I can't believe this is how you run things here. My kid comes home with an allergic reaction, and you're trying to tell me oh. it's not your fault? Do I need to repeat myself? That makes them even more not want to take her kids there. Heck, no. Unbelievable. What's this lady barking about, Naomi? Uh, she's trying to say we gave uh, her kids. Yeah, kids. like hmm. these people look like they. I I'm not trying to be too too mean, but man, they look like they do drugs. They look like. I mean, it kind of looked like a, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it looks ran down. These people look nasty and disgusting. Like, they don't keep their stuff clean. I wouldn't want my kids there either. We ain't got no peanuts here. Uh, uh, hello? Clearly, you have peanuts here. 
Oh, and hey, that little girl FYI, did... peanuts are a choking hazard. Do you really care about these kids? Look, lady, you don't like it? You can pay the $65 and take your kids to some bougie place, all right? I can't believe places like this even exist. Daycare's either too expensive or it's terrible. Just be prepared for a horrible experience. <laughs> yes? Um. Uh-uh. Look, she, and, and then she drew, she talking about some, uh, yes, got a whole attitude. I, I would turn back around and be like, skip that. I'm taking my kids to the interview with me. They just gonna have to be quiet. <laughs> I was wanting to know a little bit more about this daycare for my kids. It's 20 a day per kid. You pay when you pick up. That's reasonable. Um, do you provide breakfast or lunch? No. Do you teach them here? Look, lady, last time I checked, we need school. <laughs> they don't teach, oh, no, nah, because when you have a daycare, a good daycare would help, help the kids learn, teach the kids different things, help the kids with different day homework, not just accept the kids and let the kids do whatever they want. Come on now. We still make us go here. <laughs> Can't we just go to the other place? Well, I ain't got all day. Are you gonna leave them or what? Please, please don't. Okay, 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 okay. I'll cancel my interview. I'll cancel my no, interview. Don't. I'll take care of Martin. I'll be with you the entire time, okay? You don't have to worry. I promise. Uh -huh. What a good thing. Thank you, Isabella. I'll be back real soon, okay? I'll be right back. It's okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. It's gonna be okay. I'll be really quick. I wouldn't okay. want to go there either. Oh, about the um, cry for him Martin too. can't have anything with sesame. Well, she don't care. She not even listening. Highly allergic. He will break out in hives. We close at five. Don't be late to pick him up or they'll be waiting outside. Yeah, they're careless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> uh, we like it when candidates are excited about the company. I just have a few questions about your resume. You have a multi-year gap here? Um, yeah, so um, I used to be a stay-at-home mom, mm -hmm. and I got to be with my kids full-time. Um, and then... Um, her husband left her. My husband, he... Oh. It's okay. It's okay. We don't talk about it. Thank you. You kind of get it from there. He could have turned her phone off. Martin, it's my off. kids. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I understand. You seem like a really great person, Yesenia. And I'm a mom myself. My son, he's uh, taking me out to dinner for Mother's Day today. Aww. To one of my favorite restaurants, Aww. which is very sweet of him. <laughs> I love that. Just put your phone on silent. Oh, sorry. Real Would you mind if I just grabbed it really quick to make sure everything's okay? Not at all, please. Oh, oh my God. Just do it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Hi, honey. I don't want to be here. You're so mean. Please come pick us up. Hey. Oh, Mommy, so sorry, Martin. I'll be there soon, okay? I don't want to be here. Hurry. Okay, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. I just I put them in a brand new daycare, and it has been really hard on them. So... There is nothing to apologize for, but if you need to go, no, I understand. No, no, I really need this job. I, I hope that I didn't make a bad impression just now, but I want to promise you that even though I don't have all of the experience that you're looking for, I'm a hard worker, I'm a fast learner, and I am a great multitasker. Not only did I raise my own kids, but I would help out with my niece and nephew, so I'm used to long hours. Staying up late, waking up early, and I am incredible with people. Yeah. An organization, ugh, I can manage any amount of moving pieces. I really, really need this job. You seem to have some amazing qualities. Please hire.
we have to go back to that place again tomorrow? They're all so mean. All the toys are broken. Plus, the whole place smells like poo. I know, I know, honey. I am trying to find another daycare for you, sweetheart. Yeah, they don't keep their stuff clean. Really expensive. There you go, guys. Mom, I made this for you. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, honey, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. How come, how come we didn't draw Dad? You know. Well, he left y'all. Look at how y'all struggling now. Shoot, I wouldn't draw him either. <laughs> Just because Dad isn't physically with us anymore, it doesn't mean he isn't looking down on us watching over us oh right? oh i just assumed that he left them okay he died wow yeah that is that is kind of tough you know thank you so much for this my love i love it you're so talented thank you how are you gonna eat oh don't worry about me I had a big lunch, and I'm not hungry. I'm actually stuck. I just want to say that's one thing about being a stay-at-home wife and letting your husband do everything. I feel like the women should also get experience working out there in the world and doing things on their own because you never know what might happen to the guy. You never know what might happen to your husband. You know, you never know when something may come up, and you need to know how to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Eat. Martin, you haven't even started your homework. I tried. But I, I couldn't understand it. Okay, well, let me take a look. I'll help. Did you get the job? Oh, um, I don't know. She said she gave me a call, so I hope so. I hope she gets the job. I hope she gets the job. Hello? Hi, Ms. Martinez. This is Barbara Wilson from Technical Solutions. I've got some good news. Oh, my gosh. Did I get the position? Uh, not quite, but uh. we are moving you forward to the next round. Oh, there's a third interview. Yes. When's the earliest you can come in? Um, as soon as possible. How's tomorrow? You name the time. Perfect. I'll send a confirmation email as soon as we get off the phone. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. So, uh, there's a third interview. Okay, there's a third interview. Oh my gosh, I hope she gets this job, dude, so she can get her kids out of that daycare. <sighs> okay, so where were we? Um, 15 plus 16. I can't do it without a calculator. Double digits are just too hard. Of course you can do it. I can't. Hey, look at me. What I always tell you. You can do anything in life. You just got to put your mind to it. Put right? your mind to it. You I, got I this. OK, come on, look. I'm going to show you a trick. Ready? What's five plus six? Oh, eight, eight, seven? Yeah, that's right. OK. And then, what's one plus one? Uh, two. Mm -hmm. Plus this extra one? Three. Mm-hmm. And then all together? 31! Yes! Yes! yes. See, I told you you could do it. Yes. You got it. In. Next one. Yeah, next one. Next. All right. I'm liking everything that I'm hearing, and... <clears throat> Sorry. As I was saying. Yeah, he not as nice as the lady that interviewed her. So I hope that don't mess up her getting the job because he don't seem like he's too nice about it. Everything looks good. I've read all the feedback from the first two interviews that you had. Both people seem to really like you. Considering everything, Yesenia, I'd like to offer you... 
Put your phone on silent. I'm crying out loud. He's getting irritated. Oh my gosh, he's not nice, dude. Loud. What is so important? I'm sorry. I just put my kids in a new daycare and they're not adjusting well. But I put my phone on airplane mode. Please, please continue. Ms. Martinez, is stability going to be a problem for you? Mom, I've been calling you. Is everything okay? No, it's Martin. <gasps> oh, no. No, honey. Oh, oh, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. This He's breaking out because they gave him something that, he, that she told them not to give him. Between. They gave him crackers and they had sesame in them. I told you not to give him sesame. Whoa, dude. Watch your tone of voice when you're speaking to my sister. I specifically told your sister that my son had an allergy. Maybe the two of you should actually pay attention to the kids you're taking care of and then my son wouldn't be covered in hives. Oh. What do you want me to you do? You don't care. Oh my gosh, she's like mocking a doctor, her. You. They do not you know care, what? bro. I'm done with this. How do they are they even licensed to have a daycare, dude? Like, or how did they get licensed? Or did they fake like they were good people? <laughs> and I'm never bringing my kids back here. Come on, guys, we're leaving. No, you're not leaving. Not until you pay up. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not giving you anything. Do I look like I'm kidding? You're paying, and you're paying now. Wow. I'm so sorry about everything. I've officially earned the title of worst mom. Don't say that. Yeah, you're the best mom ever. You're the ones who are bad. Yeah, you do everything you can for us. We love you. Oh, honey. I love you both more oh than anything. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Hello? Hello, Yesenia. This is Barbara again from Technical Solutions. Yes? I'm calling to inform you that, unfortunately, you didn't get the job. Well, wow. Is there anything I could do to change your mind? I went through three rounds of interviews. Surely you see some potential. Please, I really need this job. I'll take any position. I I'm sorry, Miss Martinez, but their decision was final. Take care now. Wait, wait. Hello. And I think it was the guy. For real, the last person that interviewed her, man. I think they go by that because he said the the first two loved her. And then she got to talk to him and he was like just his attitude was just uh not not good at all. Hello. I didn't get the job. And that means I have to start all over and I don't even have a daycare to take you guys to. Wow. You don't need to find us a daycare. Why don't you just take care of us until school starts again? I mean, honey, there's nothing more in the world I would want than to take care of you guys full time. But you gotta pay to bills too. How about you can make money while taking care of us? You mean like, are the kids on to something? Do they know about something? Working from home? I'm terrible with computers. No. I mean, like, starting your own daycare. You can take care of us and other kids. Yeah. A good idea. I like that idea a lot. Then I would have more fun to play with. I can't start my own daycare. I don't have any experience. Yes, you do. Being a great mom counts. You help us with our homework, and you cook food for us. That's with my own kids. It's different with other people's kids. You took care of Alex and Rosalinda for a long time. Would you want to go back to Mexico? Yeah, but I would have to rent a location. And we don't have money saved. The last place we were just at was an apartment. So what's stopping you from doing it in years? Right, right. The lady said that daycares are way too expensive or they're too cheap and bad. How will you be right in the middle? I don't know the first thing about starting a business. You go, everybody going to end up coming to her because she they go find out how she treat their kids. They going to love that.
I just don't think I can do it. But you always tell us that we can do anything in life as long as we set our minds to it. Yeah. Well, that is, unless you didn't mean what you said. Of course I did. Right, then it's settled. Me and Martin can help you, and it's not like you got anything to lose, right? Martin and Isabella convince their mom to start her own daycare business. The next day, they all get to work. Isabella helps design the logo while the mom works on getting Aww, permits to start the business. Even little Martin helps out. The family starts handing out flyers, trying to get the word out about their new daycare. People seem excited about an affordable place with great service. Well, most people at least. Oh, she went to the expensive daycare, taking all of their clients, <laughs> taking all of their uh, customer people. Eventually, Yesenia starts getting some clients. She teaches the kids and does a great job taking care of them. The moms love Yesenia and start recommending more parents. Wow. You get One year passes by. Yesenia is now doing so well that she has more kids and moves into a bigger location. She's so happy to not only be making good money, but also to be getting wow. to do what she loves. You know what? I'll be hi. I'll be right back. Oh, that's the girl that she ran into at the at the trashy uh, daycare. What's going on? Hi, um, Yesenia. I know I have a balance. And unfortunately, I'm not able to clear that today. You see, things have been, have been really- She understands, she go let her in. She go let it, she go let her in. Tough and, but I have an interview today. You, you took all our customers. Hey, I, I- Ah, look, look, they mad as heck. <laughs> recognize some of these brats. You stole them from- And she calling them brats. That shows that you don't care about the kids. Her daycare is better. Us. Now we have to close down. Look, ladies, I don't want any problems. So why don't you just go? Well, you got problems. Hey, hey. Now don't attack her daycare just because yours isn't doing well. But maybe if you had actually paid attention to the kids you were watching and not let them eat things they were allergic to, like you did my right. son, you might still be in business. Hey, watch who you're talking to. You watch who you're talking to. Yesenia has been nothing but a blessing to me and lots of other hardworking parents. I will not let you treat her this way. How dare you talk to me and my sister like that, huh? What are y'all gonna do? Do I need to repeat myself? Maybe I need to call the cops. Uh, come on, sis. Right, look, they don't want no trouble. Yeah, y'all y'all probably have hella complaints on y'all. Donna! <laughs> the nerve! I know! Gosh. Anyways, um, as I was saying, could you please... Oh, don't worry about it. Timothy is always welcome here. We have a policy. Aww. No kid is ever turned away. Oh, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. That is so sweet. No kid is ever turned away. Turned away. Timothy, you go ahead and join the kids. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. Well, you have no idea how much I appreciate you having my back. Good luck on your interview. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Mom? Yes? Me and Martin made a drawing for you. For Mother's Day. You did? Yeah. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Are those? All the kids you take care of. Aww. Is that? Dad looking at us from heaven. Oh my goodness, you too. Thanks. <laughs> 
Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.